This was the game when the NBA finally took tanking serious, and it ended up costing the Mavs more than $1 million. Back in the 2017-18 season, Adam Silver laid down a couple of massive rules to limit tanking apart from fines. His first rule were the odds of the worst team getting the number one pick would drop from 25% to only 14%, and it would be given to the worst three teams that season. Silver had just one problem. It had to wait another year before it could be applied, which meant this would be the last season the worst team in the league could have one in four chances of landing the number one pick. And with names like Luka, Trey Young, and Shea Gilgis Alexander available in the upcoming draft, teams weren't competing to make the playoffs anymore but to have the worst record in the league. After all, a potential franchise cornerstone is on the line. While most teams kept their tanking strategy a secret, Mark Cuban was not shy about letting everyone in on it. When he appeared on Julius Irving's podcast, Cuban said he told his players after the All-Star break, losing was their best option moving forward. And I mean, he wasn't wrong. The Mavs were 18 and 40 with an aging Dirk Nowitzki and JJ Barea, who could barely play more than 20 minutes a game. But when Cuban said this, Silver wanted to make a statement and slapped him with a $600,000 fine. The largest fine he's had as an owner at the time, which is pretty huge considering all the things Cuban has done as an owner. We also can't forget that every fine Cuban has, he donates the same amount to a charity, merely pennies to his $4.6 billion net worth. But still, to make matters worse, the fine did nothing to prevent the Mavs from trying to get a top pick. In games where it still could have went either way in the fourth quarter, they'd rest their starting five to play undrafted players on minimum contracts. The tankathon of 2018 got so bad, one ESPN report found that teams were using advanced analytics to see which lineups were their least effective while on the court. For the Mavs, the $600,000 fine didn't go to waste though. But crazy enough, in 2023 it happened again. The Mavs had a slim shot to make it into the plane, and their second to last game of the season against the Bulls. They rested basically their entire starting five to increase their chances of keeping their top 10 protected pick. Silver wasn't feeling it and billed a $750,000 fine on Cuban's table, making Cuban's bill $2.7 million in fines and donations to charity. But we're pretty sure he doesn't mind. I mean, the first time he was fined for taking it turned out pretty well. While they didn't get a top five pick this year, Derek Lively has the odds at his corner. And if he lives up to his potential, the Mavs might've just found the newest way to tank for a potential star.